What's up everybody? Today we are going to be talking about Reactive Resume. This is a really cool container that allows you to build a very intricate resume that allows you to move sections around, export as PDF, and share your resume with people. It's totally private, totally self-hosted, and if you're applying for jobs or ever sending your resume to anybody, this is a must-have container. Let's jump right into deploying it right now. I'm going to start on my TrueNAS test host by creating some data sets for this. I'm going to go into my tank configs data set, and I'm going to add a data set here called Reactive Resume. I'm going to go ahead and leave the permissions generic. And I'm going to go ahead and edit and give other read, write, and execute. Here I am in Dockage. I'm going to go ahead and create a new compose stack. Create my stack here. I'm going to call this reactive resume. Let's go over to the wiki and find the file for it. Over here in the wiki, we're going to want to go to productivity apps. Here's the one for reactive resume. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this entire Docker compose and come back to Dockage. Back in Dockage, I'm going to go ahead and paste that compose right here. I need to make one change. In this case, I'm using Mount Take Configs reactive resume, and that's great. But if you have a different pool name, you're going to want to go ahead and change that for all the volumes. Down towards the bottom, you're going to see here HTTP, your server IP, colon 3000 and colon 9000. I'm going to need to replace this with the actual server IP that I'm working from. I'm going to get that from up here in my URL bar. I'm at 1099.0.191. Now that I've changed the URL in both places, I can go ahead and scroll up and hit deploy. This app is now successfully deployed. And I know that because all of these little buttons over here are blue. Let's go ahead and click port 3000 on the card right here and log in. This is what I'm greeted with the first time I click into the port 3000 after the container is deployed. Let's go ahead and go to dashboard. Now it's asking me to sign into my account. We don't have an account yet. So let's go ahead and create one now. We are not creating this account on the website. We are creating this account on our local host. In this case, I'm just going to use my name as admin. My username is admin. My email is admin at test.com. Your password needs to be eight characters or more. Ignore this about verifying your email address. I did not set up SMTP. It's not set up like that in the Docker Compose file. So we can just go ahead and log in using the credentials we just made. Here we are on the actual dashboard of Reactive Resume. So we can go ahead and import an existing resume. So if you have a LinkedIn data export that you've already done, you can just import your existing LinkedIn data. In this case, I don't, I'm going to go ahead and just create a new resume. For the purposes of this, I'm going to go ahead and create a sample resume just so I can show you guys some of the features. Here's my sample resume. Let's go ahead and open this. So I have on the right here, the option of a lot of templates. I can just keep scrolling these quite a few of them. We can pick typographies. We can pick the theme colors. We can pick custom CSS if we want to put it in the page. So it's very customizable. I can change to this template or this template or any template I want. Let's start with this template right here. So in this case, we've made a resume for this man named John Doe. On the left side here, and using these little icons, we can navigate different sections in this resume. So this is the basics right here, as we can see this little man icon matches up with this icon. Let's jump all the way down to publications. In this case, there is no publications. We can go ahead and add a new publication here if we want by giving a name, a publisher, a date, a website, and typing in a summary with all kinds of really cool markdown here. Let's go ahead and edit something that already does exist. How about his projects? The e-commerce platform projects. So we can see that in the section down here for projects e-commerce. I'm going to click this and click edit. We can see here what already has been added. And you can see there's already a summary here. So I'm going to add to this. I'm going to add that one sentence just like that and save my changes. So now when I come down to the e-commerce platform, we can see here that my sentence has been added. We can hide this whole section if we want by coming over here and hitting hide. Or we can just hide that single one that I did like that. This is what makes Reactive Resume so powerful. Instead of me going in and editing individual lines, maybe if I want to tailor my resume for certain people that I'm sending it to, instead of going back and deleting and then re-adding, I can just hide and show whatever it is that I want in my resume to tailor it. What I really should be doing is building the most comprehensive resume I can and then just selectively hiding and showing different sections depending on whom I'm applying to. Here's one of the really cool features. I can go ahead and make this a public link. So in this case, I don't have a reverse proxy in front of this, but if I had a Cloudflare tunnel or maybe an Nginx proxy manager pointed back to this, I can have my actual URL here and then link this to whatever it is that I named my resume. Here I can see the statistics of people that have clicked that link if I want to. I can export this as a JSON to PDF to attach to an email or to attach to a job application. I hope you guys got a lot out of this demonstration. This is an extremely powerful container that can clearly do a lot of things. Everything from just having multiple resumes to be able to being able to change your template on the fly like that, hiding and showing sections, as well as being able to share these resumes. If you're using Reactive Resume, I want to know how you're using it. Please leave me a comment below. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to this channel. If you aren't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Please give us a big thumbs up on the bottom so that YouTube knows you like this video. Thank you guys for watching what we're doing here. If you want to have a conversation with us about it, please jump on the Discord server for servers at home. And if you want to thank me personally, please buy me a coffee.